This is our Bedini motor generator that we've built. Um, we're getting some pretty good results with it. I wanted to just shoot a quick video for you guys, kind of show you what we got in the works. Um, we'll do much more breakdown in the near future and a lot more professional video with the whole editing and all that. Basically what we have is a battery that we're running a lamp from. That's a 12 volt, 7 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. It's just about ready to go out. That's just about ready to go out now. Um, we've got four 12 volt, 7 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries that are being charged from the generator. We've got two big beefy coils on the generator. You've seen these in my previous video. Uh, there's the wheel spinning. We're thinking it's going about 550 RPM or so. Uh, 12 volt car battery that's running the wheel. This has been running uh, almost 24 hours now. Um, and then our picture of our circuitry. These batteries would not take a charge before. Here's a quick picture of the circuitry. Uh, transistors, uh, diodes, uh, resistors, variable resistor, uh, 12 volt car bulb. Um, these uh, coils, of course, are uh, five filer wound, meaning five copper wires wound around a, uh, a welding rod core. I'll give you a shot of the welding rods. Those have been individually cut and, and uh, those have been individually cut and uh, lacquered. The batteries that we're charging, uh, there were five. We, we took the one off of the bank and then ran this light for a period of time. Um, but these batteries were removed from service because they would not take a charge anymore. Um, that, that light ran for six minutes and 20 seconds. The, the 40 watt, 110 volt light bulb ran for six minutes, six minutes and 20 seconds. And 20 seconds. Uh, using a 300 watt uh, power inverter. So we've got a lot more testing to do to find out uh, what the energy calculations come out to be, but I wanted to just give you a quick view of what we've been working on. Uh, there'll be more to come. Keep watching. Thank you.